Hi, my name is Eugene Rubilov, and this is 5 questions about build tools. What are the build tools? The build tools are some suite of mechanics that connects three actors. The Kotlin compiler, build system, and user. Let's consider a very simplified scheme of how it works. There is an abstract build system and Kotlin compiler. For sure, they can't understand each other out of the box. The build system provides some API that may be extended to connect it with compiler logic. This is actually what Build Tools team does. During a build phase, the build system and compiler talk to each other using this kind of plugin. Sometimes this type of integration is not enough for the user who wants to tune the build process. For that, the build system has config files. Content in these files is used to configure the Kotlin compiler, build system setup, and the project model in general. Here is an example how a user can configure the amount of memory for Gradle and Kotlin daemon. With the Android project moving to Bazel, an increasing use of Bazel in industry, is the Kotlin team planning to improve its support? Our goal is to make Kotlin compatible with any build system to give developers the freedom to define how they want the build system to work. This approach allows developers to express themselves and clearly customize assembly in companies with lofty requirements and standards for project assembly. Most simple JVM cases work pretty well, so we don't see any roadblocks for the community to implement or improve them for other build systems. As a Kotlin team, we are going to focus on different things. However, the Kotlin integration is not perfect, and we have tasks that are not completed for the seamless experience. And this is a strategic and hence long-term task that we are working on. What is the general climate in Kotlin IDEA Gradle integration teams? First, let me share how the Build Tools team is organized. Five engineers and one team lead are responsible for several things at the same time. Gradle plugin, support for internal teams, Kotlin project model and multi-platform, support for new Gradle features, and support for incremental compilation in Maven and GPS build systems. Because we have to support all of these tracks, we decided to follow a general distribution for Gradle adoption. As a technology, Gradle has a technology adoption curve. We are trying to support new features somewhere in the middle of the early majority segment. We have no strict rules, but our feelings are usually accurate. In addition to this, we are always attentive to your suggestions and votes in new track requests. This is a very good way to address your needs to the Kotlin team. Are there any plans to support NPM dependencies in Gradle version catalogs? Build tools are a bit like a core team. They do basic integration with Kotlin and support the JVM platform. But we also have vertical teams that focus on KMP at JS builds. Regarding JS, all of the resources are focused on stabilizing K2 compiler. All other tasks are in the backlog. At the same time, we are always open to contributions from the community. If someone wanted to make a build tool for Kotlin multi-platform, how should they get started? I don't know how to create build tools without thinking about the compiler part. Things like incremental compilation or multi-platform make the build process very complicated. And the compiler has to be flexible enough to fully serve clients' needs. We have no stable API that covers all IDEs, build systems, platforms, etc. This is a problem for the community and hence for us. Right now, we are thinking about how to make multi-platform universally independent from platform or technology. So, I would suggest starting work with a well-validated platform from a technical perspective and not investing a lot into things that are in design phase. Good references to start are 
plugins slash Kotlin slash Gradle in IntelliJ and libraries slash tools slash Kotlin Gradle plugin in Kotlin repo. And finally, don't neglect community help. However, the build tools is not only technology, but also UX. The configuration part has lots of points to improve. I will share a couple examples. It's hard to create a new model in the right way. When trying to do this, developers face problems like how to inherit parameters and how to make sure this new model will not increase code cohesion, among others. In a big project, the user basically needs to know the specific structure of the project. Sometimes developers write a script that creates a new module, but what if we could do this right from IDE UI, like adding new module via script? Another case. For updating libraries, it is also debatable how to migrate to a version that is compatible with all other dependencies. Usually, updating dependencies in a huge project is difficult, especially a monorepo. As for how they should get started, I would recommend think about extending existing tools for a seamless user experience. That was five questions to the Kotlin team. Waiting for your comments about this video and don't forget to press the like button if you find this content interesting. That's it. Bye.